Okay, this next section is about higher derivatives. So higher derivatives, these are just derivatives of derivatives. Okay. okay, if we have a function f of x, which is equal to y, so baliktad. If we have a function y equal to f of x, so for the first derivative, for the first derivative, we have derivative of y with respect to x for just y prime. Or pwede din natin siya isulat as f prime x because the derivative of that is just like that. Ayan, f prime x. So, if we want to get the derivative of that derivative, that would be the second der derivative. So, the second derivative is just the derivative of the first derivative. Okay? Or, that would be d dx of y prime. Right? Or, we could rewrite that as d squared y over dx squared. By the way, don't worry about this kasi... Um, you are not squaring the x because we are not multiplying this. Huh? This is not multiplication. Uh, it's simply you are applying derivative to the derivative. It's not like you are you are multiplying this with this. No, but baka confuse kayo. Parang ano ba? Parang sine theta. It's not that you are multiplying sine with theta. That is not multiplication. You are applying sine to theta. In this case, ganun din. You are applying derivative to the first derivative. So that's not multiplication. Okay? Or we could shorten that to y double prime. Or, let me okay, adjust that. Or f double prime x. Okay? Now, the third derivative, that's the derivative of the second derivative. Or d cube y over dx cube or we could write that as that as y triple prime or f triple prime x okay then of course fourth derivative the fourth derivative sorry the fourth derivative is just the derivative of the third derivative so that's d dx of d cube y over dx cube or we could rewrite that as y. Hindi naman pwedeng tatlong prime na, oh, apat na prime, no? Then, fifth derivative, limang prime. So, we'll use Roman numeral na dito. Lowercase Roman numeral. So, pwedeng ganyan. IV. So, that means the fourth derivative. Which is equal to, pwede din siya isulat as, <clears throat> ganito. Raised to four, pero naka parenthesis yung four. That means, fourth derivative. Or, we could rewrite that as f ana for ganyan of x ganyan okay so that means if we are if we have the nth derivative where nth is an integer that would be this derivative of the nth minus 1 derivative okay which is just y and derivative of y like that and of course Okay, or simply the derivative of the derivative. That's higher derivative. Ganun lang kadali yung concept. Now, let's try this example or this problem. Problem 4.25. Find the second derivative of the function y is equal to x squared or quantity x squared plus x plus 1 squared. So, madali lang. So, second derivative, that is just the derivative of the first derivative. Napakadali. Of course, we need to get first the first derivative. So, you just use the chain rule or general power formula. So, y prime is just equal to 2 times x squared plus x plus 1 raised to 1. Then, the derivative of this inside. So, that would be 2x plus 1. So, that is the first derivative. Now, let's solve for the second derivative. So, the second derivative, y double prime, that would be 2 times the derivative of this, which is a product. Of two functions. So copy the first. So na lang natin. I'll just copy the first function x squared plus x plus 1 times the derivative of the second function, which is just 2 plus 0. Or just 2. Plus copy the second function 2x plus 1 times the derivative of the first function that would be 2x plus 1. Ayan. <clears throat> then we'll just simplify. So gawin natin, expand na lang natin to simplify. So we'll have 2 times 2x squared plus 2x plus 2 
plus if we expand this that would become um, 4x squared then plus 4x plus 1 okay then combine like terms y double prime that would be 2 times x squared x squared so that's 6x squared then so tapos na dito x this one 2 and 4 so that's 6x plus 3 then we could factor out 3 here common so multiply that by 2 that becomes 6 so y double prime 6 times so we factored out 3 so this will become 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 so this is our answer napakadali very easy okay let's try another one we'll have this function if y is equal to the square root of 4x minus 1 find y triple prime so y triple prime we need y double prime and we need of course y prime so we'll start with y prime how about if we rewrite this as y equal to 4x minus 1 raised to 1 half? That would be okay. Or pwede naman tayong gumamit ng derivative of square root of u, diba? which is just du over dx over 2 square root of u. Pwede din yung formula na lang, pero just to follow the process, pwede din ganito. Okay? So, finding y prime, that would become 1 half times 4x minus 1 raised to 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. Then the derivative of this inside the parentheses, that would be 4. Then we have the first derivative, y prime is equal to 8. No, sorry, 4 divided by 2 pala. So that would be 2 times 4x minus 1 raised to negative 1 half. Then we'll solve for the second derivative. So I'll just copy this <clears throat> to the other side of the sheet. Okay, let's proceed to the second derivative. So this is constant 2. We multiply that with the derivative of this, which is negative 1 half, sorry, which is negative 1 half times 4x minus 1 raised to negative 1 half minus 1, which is negative 3 halves. Okay, then multiplied by the derivative of this inside. So that would still be 4 plus 0, so 4. Okay, then 2 times 1 half is 1, so negative 1 times 4 is 4. So y double prime would be negative 4 times 4x minus 1 raised to negative 3 halves. So that's y double prime. So now we could proceed to y triple prime. So that would be negative 4 times the derivative of this, which is negative 3 halves, okay, times 4x minus 1 raised to negative 3 halves minus 1, so that would be negative 5 halves, okay, times the derivative of this, which is still 4. So, ito, multiply na natin to, that would be 12 times 4, oh, so that would be 4 to 8 divided by 2, 24. So, negative times negative, that would be positive. So y triple prime is positive 24 times 4x minus 1 raised to negative 5 halves. So that would be our answer. Or you may express your answer in radical form if you like. Okay, for problem 4.27, we have this function. So we have if xy plus y squared equals 2x, find y prime and y double prime. So ganun pa rin, we just need to get y prime, then let's get y double prime. So, sobrang dali. So, let's solve for y prime first. So, the derivative of this first term, uh, first, sorry, the derivative of this first term, that would be product again of x and y. Using the product rule, we have copy the first function times the derivative of the second function plus copy the second function times the derivative of the first function, which is x, so the derivative of that is just 1. So that this is a derivative of xy, then plus the derivative of y squared, which is just 2y, y prime. And that is equal to the derivative of 2x, which is just equal to 2. Then solve for y prime. So I just factor out x uh, y prime here. So I'll have y prime times x plus 2y. That would be equal to 
I'll transpose this to the other side. I'll have 2 minus y. Okay, then y prime is now equal to 2 minus y divided by x plus 2y. Okay, so ito na yung first part of our of what is asked, y prime. So let's proceed to y double prime. Okay, to solve for y double prime, we just need to get the derivative of this. So y double prime is equal to the derivative of this, but this involves now an, an implicit form, um, a quotient of two function, 2 minus y over x plus 2y. And from our previous discussion, we have already shown you na medyo mahaba yung, form, yung process pag ganun. So gusto kong iwasan yung quotient rule. So I, what I will do with this is I'll just transpose this to the other side before I, get, um, I solve for the derivative. No? So, implicit, implicit pa rin yung maging approach ko. Okay? Or, expand ko muna para madali ko rin yung derivative. So, that would become y prime times x plus 2y plus equal to 2 minus y. Medyo tinatamad pa rin akong mag product rule. I just expand this. So, that would be y, x y prime plus 2y y prime that's equal to 2 minus y. Pero magpa-product rule pa rin pala dito. Okay. Now, implicit na siya. Pero wala na siyang quotient. So, for me, this is much easier to solve. So, to solve for y double prime, we just need to get the derivative of this. Okay. So, the first function is this. Again, product pa rin siya between x and y prime. So, we'll still use the product rule. So, using the product rule, we'll have copy the first niya. And then, derivative of the second term. So, the derivative of y prime is, of course, y double prime. Then, plus, copy the second term, that's y prime, times the derivative of the first ter first function, which is just 1. Okay, so, y prime times 1 lang siya. Then, plus 2 times, again, this is product of y and y prime. So, copy the first, so that's y, times the derivative of the second, that's y double prime. Then plus, copy the second, which is this, y prime, times the derivative of the first, which is y prime. Okay? Then the derivative of, of negative y, that would be negative y prime. Now, we'll have x y double prime plus y prime. How about if I rewrite this as plus 2y y double prime, then plus 2y prime squared. Pwede ganun. y prime times y prime. That's y prime squared. That's equal to negative y prime. And ito, pwede ito siyang makombine, no? Pwede makombine. Then, ito, I'll just combine this. I'll factor out y, y double prime. So, I'll do that. I'll factor out y double prime. Ayan yung isasolve natin. Times, yung may e1 is x and 2y. So, x plus 2y. Okay, then etong dalawa, I'll just transpose that to the other side. So, mayari dito, that would be equal to negative y prime minus negative, minus y prime, I mean. So, that's negative 2y prime. Then, eto, I'll transpose that to the other side. That would be negative 2y prime squared. Kung tutusin, pwede din siya i- Para silang negative, pwede yun na lang, interchange, okay? So, y double prime times x plus 2y. That would be equal to, how about if, ang i-factor out ko na lang is negative 2y prime. So, negative 2y prime, ta, um, magiging 1 plus y prime. 1 plus y prime, ayan. And since, let me write that here, since y prime is equal to, ayun, 2 minus y over x plus 2y. Let's just substitute that. So, I'll have y double prime times x plus 2y. That's equal to negative 2 times 2 minus y over x plus 2y. Okay. Then, multiplied by 1 plus y prime, which is 2 minus y over x plus 
2y. Then we'll just simplify this. Okay, the LCD here is x plus 2y. So we'll have x plus 2y here. So alam nyo na tong process. I don't need to explain this again. So 2 minus y. Ayan. Okay. So, pwede tayo mag-multiply. Ito, multiply natin. May square lang siya. Eh, meron pa dito. Transpose natin sa baba. So, maging x plus 2y cubed na siya. Diba? Then, we could simplify this. Okay. So, let's simplify first the numerator. So, that's negative 2. 2 minus y. Then, let's try to simplify this. So, that would be... Ito lang pwede ma-combine. Right? So, 2y minus y, that's y. So, that's x plus y plus 2. Okay, then all over. Ito, this times this, that's just x plus 2y squared. Then ito, it transpose to the other side. So, multiply ulit tayo ng x plus 2y. So, that would be x plus 2y cubed. Ayan, so in factored form, that would be our answer. Okay, now for your first assignment for this section, um, you just need first to... Assignment 1. You need to prove, kasi ito, we could continue our solution here. You just need to prove that um, this answer is equal to y double prime is equal to negative 8 over x plus 2y cubed. So, your first assignment is to prove this. Okay? Na ito yung, you can express the answer that way, or that would be the result. And your second assignment would be to solve for the second derivative. So if x cubed minus y cubed equals to 1, 2, 5, you need to find second lang. Para makasubmit kayo agad. The second derivative. So that would be your two assignments that I will be expecting right after you watch this lesson so that's it i will see you in the next lesson